He is one of the few remaining people across the Midwest offering a typewriter repair service. Who knew? And get this, he's only 23 years old. Wow. He's probably never used one before yeah. this, right? 23-year-old Lucas Duell began repairing the classic machines when he was just 14. And he has repaired hundreds since then. His unique skills are so in demand that they currently has a huge backlog of orders. Lucas joins us uh, this morning to tell us more. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you. How did you get uh, connected with this device that really wasn't being used even when you were born? Well, I think it actually was being used quite a bit. And I personally have always been a lover of both analog technology and creating things. So the typewriter was really just at the intersection of those. Right, but I mean, people were using computers. Your mom wasn't typing out a, anything on a typewriter in your house. Was, she, or did you, no, did, was that your introduction yeah. to it, Lucas? We didn't actually own a typewriter. I got my first one when I was about 14. And my grandma actually had one when I was a lot younger. And ah. she showed it to us, but I wasn't interested at the time. And what is the, are there a lot of collectors? Is that, is that more than we realize, Lucas? There are a lot of people who are collecting typewriters, but I think more than that, there's a lot of people still using them. And, and why would they use them? I mean, it seems like a kind of a, a fun, cool thing to escape digital technology for a moment until you start using one. Um, that is one of the reasons people like to use it is because it is that escape from digital technology. And it's kind of this organic analog form of communication that is completely of your own making. You're not reliant on any digital interface or corrections or anything like that. It's a pure process. And that's what a lot of people really like. So, Lucas, obviously you're, you're skilled to take, you know, putting things back together. What is it? I mean, I'm sure there's a lot of things you could take apart and rebuild and make tons of money doing it if you're this kind of smart. What is it about the typewriter that you're so attracted to? I appreciate it. Well, I've taken apart a lot of things and I've put a lot of things back together. Um, typewriters was something I started only for myself because I wanted a few machines to use and I didn't have the money to buy them working. So I just bought them broken and fixed them. Um, and that was kind of the first thing that I really noticed. There was a demand of people asking me to do for them. So that's where this kind of started. So what do you do if you need a part? Is there a place to get old typewriter parts? You have to make a lot of friends with all of the other people who are in the typewriter repair uh. community. So I work with a lot of other people who are in this field and we share parts with each other. Huh. Huh. Is that a fun group of people? You have little uh, conventions and stuff, Lucas? <laughs> Just curious. Usually, yes. And we did, we did used to have an annual convention, but that's not going on anymore right now. Wow. So you got to be like this whiz kid of the community. I'm sure not everyone who's doing this is your age. Am I right? There's a few people. Um, there's Jack Armstrong down at Tampa Typewriter who's actually younger than me. By wow. four or five years. What's it going to cost me to fix a typewriter? What's the ballpark? The average cost that I see is around 350 bucks per machine. And, and that yeah. depends on a lot of factors. And how valuable can one of these old typewriters be? Uh, you can get a Souls and Glidden from 1873. That's worth thirty to $40,000. Wow. wow. Unbelievable. So is this a side hustle for you, or is this your career path, Lucas? <laughs> this is my main gig right now. This is all I do. Unbelievable. Well... Pretty cool. Do you have any of those really old valuable ones, or I, I see some behind you? Well, I got one behind me from uh, about 1904, and there's one that's not quite in camera. That's from 1896. That looks like a reel-to-reel -reel, uh, uh, audio deck there behind him, too, isn't it? from typewriters, I love reel-to-reel. -reel. Oh, geez. Well, we could probably use you around here. Yeah. Come by WGN, because I think we're still using that equipment yeah. that's over your right shoulder. <laughs> We're not kidding. <laughs> <laughs> we may need your help, yes, so we will hold joking, on to your Lucas, number. So we, <laughs> we will call uh, Thank you, Lucas. Yeah, you. All right. Check out more at typewriterchicago.com. You can follow Lucas on social media. There's your info on the screen. Thanks, Lucas. Okay, thank you.